What's good, Mo Mafia? I'm going to need y'all to go over to Mia and Wayland's channel. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure y'all turn on y'all post notification bell so y'all know when they dropping bangers. This here is their channel, y'all. Man, they got a lot going on on their channel. They do pranks, challenges. Um, they vlog. They do it all, y'all. They're a cute couple. They're super duper funny. Um, they will be doing a giveaway at 10K. What I'm going to need y'all to do is head over to their channel. Stop this video right now. Head over to their channel. Hit that subscribe button. Comment on two of their videos. Screenshot it all to me for an extra entry in my 50K giveaway. Me and Waylon will also be doing a giveaway, y'all. So make sure y'all go to their channel. Hit subscribe. Let me know once y'all do it. Mo Mafia, go show them some love. They part of the Mo Mafia too. Let's get it. I'm requesting it from the cute girl, Ariana. Ariana Grande? Hey, you made it big time now. Would you shut up? I'm shut up. But next time. Her question is, will you ever get back together with Mimi? <laughs> I hit hard bars. You can't tell me nothing. Spit fire, burning shit like a fucking toaster. Your main bitch want to pull me closer. What's good, Mo Mafia? It's your girl, Mo. And today, y'all, I'm back with an updated Q&A video. I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers for getting me to 50K plus. Y'all, celebration video coming soon. Don't trip. We're going to get it in. Y'all already know how we do over here. Y'all, Mac in the background. So if y'all hear somebody breathing super duper hard, that's Mac. Um... Pop this real quick and pour me a little up because y'all this is a different type of QA. You feel me? That should about do it, right? Here, if I need some more, I'll just holla. Got me a little something to sip on while we while I answer these questions. Cause I can imagine what's gonna go on with these questions. All right, all right, got me a little bit of snacks too, just in case. But overall, you know, we just gonna get it in. Because I am gonna be munching on snacks, I'm gonna say the prayer. I know what's going on right now is not prayer worthy, but I'm a little different. Ain't that right, y'all? No. I am. God is good, God is great. And we thank him for this food. We gon' thank him in the morning, noon, and night. Cause God, God, God is dynamite. I match. I match. Game. Alright, y'all. First question. When I open them, you can have a chip. Until then, I'm gonna need you to be quiet because I'm recording. Oh, man. That thumbnail. Terrible, Mac. Why didn't you... All right, y'all, these coming straight off the tube in the community post. If you seen the post, I posted in the community post that I was doing an updated Q&A. Y'all dropped some questions. There's a lot of questions. I've seen a lot of the same questions, but I'm going to try to cover them for the most part. All right. Uh... Let me see. All right, this from Sim Awakening. Mo, can you talk about living so far away from your mom and how it affects you mentally, not seeing her and your other family? And do you have any plans on ever going back? I'm going to tell y'all like this. Um, being away from my mom, it really don't have a negative effect on me because I was with her for so long 28 years of my life I lived in the same city as her so being away from her was kind of weird so to speak because you know what I'm saying it's, I can't just pull up at mama crib you feel me I can't just go around the corner I stayed around the corner from my mom when I did stay in Milwaukee but other than that I talked to her like every day she called me we laugh about my videos so we be lit and do I have any plans on ever going back uh, yeah, I'm actually going to take a trip there soon. I'm not going to say when, but just know I'm going um, to see my mom. I'm going to do some videos with her for y'all and stuff like that. So it's going to be lit. What, this question is from Isha Daly. 
It say, would you consider making your own YouTube team slash crew? Uh, Y'all can help each other out and do collabs. Y'all, when I first started doing YouTube, I said, man, I want a YouTube crew. I want, I want a bunch of people we could, you know, get a crib and go crazy. No. It didn't work out that way. It didn't happen that way. I'm not going to go into details. Now, look. That is a good idea because it's always good to network and take other people's branches of, you know, who they have following them and they become one as a whole. That's always lit. But I'm cool with just me and Mac for now. If there's another YouTuber that comes along and, you know, we end up linking with them and, it, you know, we do, we do the damn thing, then that'll be that. But for right now, I'm cool with just collabing with Mac. Of course, I want to collab with other YouTubers and stuff, too, but as far as having a team, my trust right now is not the best, so I, I don't really trust nobody with what I'm doing, what I want to do with, for the rest of my life. I, do, I just don't. All right. Next question is from Keita Scott. She said, do you still get to see Logan and baby Ava? And if not, I hope you will be able to. So I am actually am going to be able to see them soon, like I said. Um... Yeah, so it's all good. You know what I'm saying? I'm co-parenting with their mama. We cordial, we good. So, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I'm going to be able to see them real soon. Y'all going to see them too. I'm going to do a video with them. A mukbang or something. Feeling it. This question is from Lovely Nay. It says, what's something you want to change about 2020 related to your life and politics? And can you do a cooking video with Mo? <laughs> um, something I want to change related to politics? Maybe I should watch the news more. Because <clears throat> I really don't watch the news, y'all. But it's like, I'm so woke. The half of the stuff that be on the news, I, 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 I'm sorry, I really don't even care. Wouldn't you agree, bro? Oh, definitely, because it's all fabricated anyway, just to throw you off. It That's is. Y'all gotta dig deep into who y'all are and where y'all came from, and I'm telling you, y'all understand why we said that. But other than that, um, doing the cooking with Mo video. I think that will be lit. Maybe we can make some pizza or something. Because, y'all, I'm not the best cook. I can cook, but I ain't the best cook. <laughs> Mac talking about I stole his stuff. How I steal his stuff? Y'all trying to steal my shit. Yeah, in the kitchen with Mac, cooking with Mo. Same thing. They requested it. I got to get the people what they want. trying to do my, my sniper thing, with my, how I train my snipers. Shh. You supposed to be quiet in the back. You're talking too much. <laughs> this question is from Princess Pooh. How has not seeing the kids affected you? Love from Nashville, Tennessee. Love you too, princess. Um, not seeing them has been really hard for me because I'm, I was so used to waking up to them, coming home to them after work, stuff like that. And just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have my days, just like any other parent that would be separated from their babies. I have my days where I get sad, you know, I miss them. I just try to watch videos. I go in my snap story, my snap, snap history, and watch videos of me and them. Post pictures. Y'all be seeing it on my snap. If y'all follow me on snap, this is my snap right here. Go follow me right now or go add me. But, yeah, you know, I have my days where I'm sad and stuff like that. But overall, I know that everything that's happening with me not seeing them it's all going to get better gradually. I just have to give it time and let, you know, leave it in God's hands, so to speak. All right, next question. From Haley Boutler. I have a question that just came to mind. How do you come out to strict parents, and in my case, my mom, um, who aren't very open-minded? Do you have any tips to help your girl out? Love you, Mo. God bless. Haley. Let me tell you something. Um, at the end of the day, depending on how old you are, if you're uh, if you're not 18 yet, what I would do is wait till I'm 18 because once you're 18, it's kind of like I can do what I want. You know what I'm saying? And it's my life. It's my happiness. 
You know what I'm saying? Your sexuality does not define you as a person. And if your parents don't understand that being of of their ages, then you know what I'm saying? That's something they need to fix and work on within themselves. It's not you. So I would say if you have a strict mother and you want to come out to her, wait till you're of age, sit her down, let her know how you feel, let her know that, you know what I'm saying, I'm still me. I, it's, that's just what I prefer. And if she loves you and care about you and, you know what I'm saying, and want to be there for you for the rest of your life, she'll understand. You know what I'm saying? It's not her preference. So, of course, it's, it's, it's foreign. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you her child. Damn, y'all, we're going to bust open these ruffles. Oh, oh bang. <laughs> y'all getting two for the price of one. <laughs> Literally. All right. Um, this question is from the cute girl, Ariana. Ariana Grande? Hey, you made a big time now. Would you shut up? I'm shut up. The next time. Her question is, will you ever get back together with Mimi? Hell yeah. <laughs> Max said, hell yeah. My answer is no. I'm going to tell y'all why. I feel like the run me and Mimi had, it was the run, it was exactly that. When you when you run a marathon, doesn't it come to an end? It came to an end, and you know what I'm saying. It the way things happen, yeah, it was messed up. You know what I'm saying. But it's like I understand that we humans, humans fuck up. We do we do messed up shit. We make mistakes. Who am I to hold on to? Or, or to hate her. You feel me? I don't. And I told her that. And that's why we co-parenting. We trying to make it work on that level. Because that's just the right thing to do for my babies. So it's like I would never get back with her. Because of the simple fact that I know that that ran its course. And that's over with. But other than that, I, I would definitely still be cordial with her. Maybe even one day be her friend. You feel me? So it's like. Yeah. All right, y'all. Next question. This is from the Queen Ebb. She said, "Will you ever put together a meet and greet for Mo Mafia?" Of course. I gotta give y'all a meet and greet. We gonna get lit. We gonna do a live mukbang. We gonna get it in, y'all. When I tell you my meet and greet, the, the vision I have for my meet and greet. Especially my first one. I'm going crazy. And it's going to be get greater later. You feel me? Yeah. We going in, ain't we, Mac? Yeah, yeah. We're going to be both of us put together. <clears throat> mm -hmm. This question is from Mara Calazzo. Say her name. Mara. Mara Calazzo. Mara Calazzo. She said, who is your favorite mukbanger on YouTube? Charlie Mac. Not. Um, I really, really like, you lost your vagina. I really, really like, um, Quan Tran. He's one of my favorite. I've been watching him for a long time. If y'all have not checked out Quan Tran, go check him out. He cook his food, then he eat it. Sometimes he do restaurants and stuff, but he, get out. No. Quan the transvestite. Go ahead. That's not his fucking name. It's Quan Tran. He's yeah, a god. Quan Tran. Okay. He's fucking um. Uh, what? Asian or something. <laughs> Shut the hell up. In questions. Uh, lyrics so cute. Asks, will you ever travel to New York? Yeah, I want to go to New York bad. Like all I can think about is that Alicia Keys song. I go. How did Alicia Keys song go? go I take a trip to New York City one day, and I was there because I'm Alicia Keys. Mac, that's not how it go. I'm New sure. York, concrete jungle with dreams are made of, and nothing you can't 
do. That is Alicia Keys. No, it's not. How you gonna tell me? It's your mama and her bagpipe from Italy. Fuck you, man. Why are you always on my mama? You know she watched these videos. Cause right? I love your mama. Hey, you mama. I always talk this shit about my mama. Cause you talk shit about my mama. It's just not recorded. Shut up. <laughs> Slay, Leisha, and Tay uh, says, "Have you ever dated a boy?" Uh, yeah, I have dated multiple boys when I was younger, but. You know what I'm saying? It didn't go nowhere. Clearly. Nobody asked you, Mac. We I have work, man. You know, I did my thing back in the day. I used to braid here. Well, I still do here and there, but, you know, I was a little neighborhood braider. Had a couple of niggas pull up. You feel me? That major. They ain't get no ass. Period. Next question. Is Van Thomas said, what is life like being gay? <laughs> That's an interesting question. Um, life is life. I don't know. Like, it's not like this high horse of a life that you get when you're gay. You're actually hated more. Right? Well, you guys got it easy. Ten years ago, you'd have been hated more. Now, you guys out of the norm. Straight people is the weird ones. Y'all looking at us like, something wrong with us. <laughs> Wait, so you don't take <laughs> Like, what? No, no, I don't. I'm sorry. I don't know what Mac's talking about, but... Life is just as much, just as much of life as it is being straight, I guess. I don't know. So I don't know what answer you were looking for. Nessie Love said, what type of girls are you into? The ones that like you. What? The ones that like you. Exactly. <laughs> no, but it's not so much of you gotta have this, you gotta have that. Like, I'm the type of person that I go off energy and vibes. Like, that's why it was so hard for me when we was doing the Smasher Pass. Because it's like, okay, she got cute features. Would I hit it off that? Yeah. That's what I went off. But, like, as far as what I'm into, the physical is not the main aspect of it. Like, I real life like genuine people. People who love laughter and love positivity and woke. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, just good energy. That's what I like. And, of course, be cute. Have something cute. Like, it's just, y'all, I think the weirdest stuff is cute on a female. Like, honestly. It could be the... I like I'm that telling big back you. you got. Huh? You like, I like that big back you got. Right. When you come out the water looking like a whale, it looks like a shampoo. That's so cute to me. Seriously. Period. Ain't nobody spit water out your blowhole like you. <laughs> you know, I'm acting like you're ready to go to work. Tell them, give me the 10 cakes when I gotta go to work no more. Well, 10K ain't gonna do it, but. Y'all get back to 10K. Pour me a little bit more up in here. Please. Mm hmm. It's all good. Alright, so next question is from Debbie and Corey. 42 degrees. What made you wanna be a YouTuber and was it difficult for you? Um. What made me want to be a YouTuber is that I was actually, I told this story before I was at my cousin's house, she was watching a mukbanger. I started watching it at first, I thought it was super duper weird, but then I had realized like, this is interesting. After that, 
after that, I just was like, man, I can do this. You know what I'm saying? I start, you know, expanding my watching. I was watching all type of people who did like like couple channels, mukbangers, people who did like um, gold digger pranks and all that. Like I start, it start getting my interest more. You now the more I start watching people, the more I start watching people, the more I notice like, dude, I probably can be good at this. So I just start doing it. And now it wasn't hard. Please don't knock my drink over with the wrong feet. Thank you. <laughs> what? What's wrong? You shut up so I can. Your voice deep as hell and it carry across the room. You can't whisper. Shut the fuck up. I'm trying to enjoy myself. I go to work in 10 minutes. You have to have, to have a nerve to be you. Shut the fuck up. What you just say? I don't fucking know. This is gonna not make no sense. <laughs> oh my god. What was I finna answer? Oh, was it difficult for me? No. Because my confidence is high. And I really don't care about what people say about me. Like I'm real like nonchalant about when people talk shit. So it was the perfect thing for me. I knew when I came on this platform that people was going to talk shit, call me fat. I've been getting called fat my whole damn life. Do I give a fuck? No. I know I'm fat. Grab a snack. Be fat. Who gives a fuck? When you, when you, when you do YouTube, you have to be willing to learn shit. Because it's not just going to come to you. You got to actually do research. If you want to be a lazy YouTuber like Mac... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But look at my numbers though. Just shut up. Boy, I hate us. <laughs> I don't hate nobody. Is a nose piercing worth it? I'm debating on getting one. And um, Young Vet asked that. Um, As far as worth it, I mean, I'm swagging. You feel me? But did you laugh? No. You laugh. You choking? Get your shit together. <laughs> anyway. Some No, not at all. I just heard you laugh. No, but yeah, it was worth it. It didn't hurt that bad. I teared once and it healed fast, so I'm good. Dreadhead Gant asks. Do you plan on moving to your own place? Yes. Very soon. Huh? What you mean no I won't? Yeah, I'm moving to your own place. Why not? Let's see. First time I've ever seen it. You met me when I was in a relationship, so I live with my significant other. Let's see. You gonna have a nasty ass house. You got me. What's up, nigga? This nigga is hating on me right now. Most of them have pet rats. <laughs> As y'all can see, I can never do a video without there being interruptions. But yeah, I plan on getting my own place. Kiana Fagan asks. What places do you want to travel? Dubai. I want, huh? Dubai. Okay, Matt, can I answer my own question? Shut up. I know you. Get out. Um, Dubai. <laughs> Fuck off. Um, I want to go to Dubai. I want to go to. Nigeria. Israel. I want to go to Jamaica. Fun fact about Mo, I've never been outside of the United States. I've barely been anywhere in the United States. You want to talk to Chicago too, don't you? Huh? To Chicago. Mac, would you please shut up? I'm about to go. Fuck you. Put a hater here. He's so annoying. Why are you asking me if I want to go to Chicago? Because I got some hitters on your ass. 
Should I come back here in the morning? No. Okay. I don't need a two day break. Cool. I'm just playing. Be better. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm gonna give y'all a couple more questions, and then we're gonna call it a wrap. I know this video is super duper long, but I feel like I answered all the main questions y'all had. This question is from Ebony Wright. Are you single? Yes, I'm single. Not in a relationship right now. I'm just vibing. You know what I'm saying? Catching vibes. Now, is there someone that has drawn my interest? I don't know. Maybe. This question is from Yoshi92. Are you planning on making YouTube a career for you? If not, what will you do career-wise? Mm -hmm. I do in a form like in some way want YouTube to be my career because I enjoy it so much and I love making people happy and that that I know that's what I was put on earth to do and if this is the form of, of how I'm going to do it I'm happy with that now I do want I do want to start my own merch and I do want to branch out and own a few businesses but, you know, when you're an entrepreneur, the world is yours. So it's like, one, one year, I might be doing this and going hard with it. If that do good ne the next year, huh, who's, who's to say? I might do something crazy, do something else, start up a new project. That's the type of person I am. So it's not like there's one thing I want to do. Like, I want to do a lot of things. And y'all going to see it. Y'all going to be here to grow with me and see me the, the whole way. Y'all, I am faded. <laughs> Mm-hmm. These here. The bomb. Alright, my mafia. I wanna welcome all my new subscribers. I wanna thank y'all for watching this video. It's some bangers coming. We finna record some crazy videos tomorrow, y'all. It's the weekend. We finna get it in. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, hit that bell so y'all know when I'm dropping bangers. We going up. It's 2020. It's our year. I'm going to say that until the wheels fall off. Period. You feel me? Make sure y'all go over to Wayland and Mia's channel. Run them up. As y'all can see, I am subscribed to the kids. So, I mean, we more mafia, right? So, run over there. Subscribe to their channel, y'all. Run them up. Show them some love. Man, they got some bomb videos. They so funny to me. Um, yeah, do that for me. They doing a 10K giveaway. It's gonna be lit. It's gonna be, it's gonna be lit, y'all. So go ahead, subscribe. Make sure you screenshot me once you do subscribe for an extra entry in my 50K giveaway. All right. I love y'all, my mafia. I appreciate y'all. I'm lit. I'm about to call it one. All right. And my mafia, we finna get lit, cause we the shit. Game.